Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm looking at a Volkswagen Golf boot handle. Now, um, there actually is quite a lot of information about these online that I kind of sifted through when I had this problem. So um, basically what it is, there's a drain pipe for the handle. Now what actually happens is this drain pipe perishes and then water gets inside your boot. Now I can't see it really flooding your car, but it is gonna cause all sorts of dramas to your electric. This is a really common fault, and it's something that I really think needs to be unaddressed, you know, just to stop you getting future problems. So uh, let's take a look. And if you get value from this video, hit the like button and subscribe to support this channel. Right then, so this is the type of handle which it causes all the problems. So basically what it is, the actual badge is the handle that opens the boot. Now, with this type of handle, any water that runs down the back of the boot can actually run in under the handle. So there is a little drain pipe down in the bottom which allows the water to drain from inside the handle. Now, if I lift it up, you'll see right in the bottom of the boot, directly below it, this is the drain pipe. Now, there should be a little grommet which is attached to the pipe, allowing the water to come out. But as you can see, it's cor corroded off, um, allowing the water to get inside the actual boot lid. So, like I said before, I don't think it'll get inside the boot, but it definitely gets inside the actual boot lid. So. This is the new pipe. Now it's a little bit different, but you can see that grommet on the end. Um, this is a genuine part, so I'm guessing it's a modified pipe. Now the panels to access the inside of the boot lid are actually held on mainly by poppers, but there's four screws you need to remove, which are just, uh, just above the catch. There's two in the middle under this panel, one and two there, and then there's one either end, so four total. Now, once you get them screws out the way, it's all held on with poppers. So you just need to give it a firm pull and you'll separate the panel. So this is the main big panel, which is at the bottom. So we're just gonna give it a good pull and separate it. So you can see there now it's just popping out the clips. Now, what I found is this actual trim is actually holding. So you're gonna have to remove the other trim first. So the first thing you've gotta do is remove the top piece, which is held on by these poppers here, these little, well, little, little metal clips. Um, it just clips in, just give it a firm pull and pop it off. And then you need to remove the two side panels. Again, held on with three clips. Just again, give them a good pull and pop them off. Um, that's the one side and the other side. And then once you've done that, you can remove the main panel to access the inside of the boot lid. Again, lots of poppers. Just give them a good firm pull and they'll pop off. They are designed to be removed. Now, once you've got it off, you need to locate the inside of the handle. So this is the actual handle. And then just at the bottom, you can see this little white pipe and then a little rubber pipe connected onto the white pipe at the bottom of the handle. Now, I'm just gonna get, stick my hand in there and just pull this pipe off uh, to remove it. You can see it's all loose in there and you can see the grommet on the end of it is completely rotted away and just fell off. So that pipe was just loose inside the hole. Now here's the new pipe compared to the old, so you can see the grommet on the end of the new one and the old one there is just all corroded away. Um, it's weird how it just kind of, I, I guess per perished is a better word, not corroded, sorry. Um, so it just perishes and then the end breaks off. And then you can see the new one here is a little bit different. It's a different type of pipe, so I'm guessing they've uh, modified it and make it better. Now, as you can see, the new one is a lot longer. So I thought it'd be a good idea to cut it, say, an inch longer, just to make sure it's, there's plenty of length to go in there. Um, so I fed it in the boot lid, but I soon found out it was too long. So I'd advise cutting it a bit longer. Um, feed it in. Now make sure there's two holes. There's actually a, a smaller outer hole and then a larger inner hole. So make sure you feed it in the two holes. Then grab it from the other side and give it a pull until it just clips into place. So you can see I've got my hold of the pipe on the inside and I'm just going to firmly pull it until it pops in place. And that's it. Located. Now you can see my pipe is just by you. Now if I put it on, you can see my pipe is just way too long and you can see it's kinked. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to shorten this 
till obviously it doesn't kink um, so what I'm gonna do is just cut a bit off so there we go I've cut about half an inch off now and um, you can see it's not kinked but you can actually see the larger inner hole that it's got to go through and you can see it's actually rubbing the hole so again this is no good because it's just gonna rub vibrate and rub through the pipe so I got to cut a little bit more off um, just to so it's not touching so I advise just cutting it off in little bits now there it is now I've cut a little bit more off and you can see it's nice and in the center of that hole and if I push it either way it springs back into the middle which is perfect because you know it's not going to rub and it's going to be nice. So that's it it's all installed um, it's just a matter now of putting all the trim back together and you're all done. Now like I said before I don't believe this will give you a heavy amount of water in your boot but I am a firm believer that this will cause damage to your electronics if you don't uh, sort it out so uh, yeah thanks for watching guys and uh, I hope this helps and if you get value from this video hit the like button and subscribe to support this channel